if you could somehow run your scout beyond that tank, it's not going to work. But in theory, if you could have a scout run past that medium tank that just shot at you, you could activate the elevator and have your troop, like your Lancer, come down and blow up the tank from the below. If you could do that... Theoretically, some, yeah. if I could get a scout past it, yes, I could do that. But so, you're talking about something that getting a scout yeah, past that medium tank... Right. We, we have to blow up the tank. And if we blow up the tank, there's no point in getting a Lancer down there. Yeah. So, okay, do whatever, man, because it seems like the map is kind of against us here. And then we gun down this Lancer. Will you be able to take out this Lancer in one turn? I, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, you got him. There you go. He's dead, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy went, shoot him, Ted. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Ted, I never told you this before, but you're really good at shooting things. Hey, thanks, Nancy. I appreciate the compliment. They're, they're best friends. <laughs> there's, there's no sexual tension. They're too oblivious. <laughs> they're just two wholesome spirits. I love it. Yeah. So advance your tank now, I guess. Bring the tank up. Entering combat. Panzer Vovot Mach Schnell. That means tank forward very quickly. Where did you learn that? Uh, German. In your German class that you took? No, I just learned it from researching how to <laughs> speak German. <laughs> you Oh, so you learned German the same way I learned how to speak French, which is just study go. it for a while. Yeah, pretty much. My German... Uh, mein Deutsch is scheiße. Didn't you take a German class or two? I took th I've taken, like, five years of German. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. <laughs> okay. Fire. Hit the tank. Good, there you go. Just gotta do that three more times. Nancy ducked. You took five years of German? Yeah, I've taken, like, five years of German. I took two years, um... Two in high school? No, I'm sorry, I took, uh, four, four years of German. So, two in high school and two in college. Do you ever put that German to good use? You did go, um, you got medevac to Germany and you bumbled through the conversation a couple times. Yeah, I bumbled through conversations in German. Is that the most you've ever done with your, oh, come on. That is the most I've ever done with German other than when I spoke German to some, uh, some Germans that came in to use our firing range at work. Oh, okay. I spoke a little bit of German to them. It was really bad German. Because you were working at a gun range and you had some people going, we would like to practice shooting these targets. Yes. Well, we had Germans come in. We're, we're by an airport, so we get a lot of uh, <laughs> we get a lot of like people that just come in, and it's because guns are harder to get in Germany, so they want to shoot guns. You could have been helping, Nancy. <laughs> she did. She was too busy admiring Ted. Nice work. So I tried speaking German at them, and it was it was very bad. Yeah, he didn't try um, speaking with them. You tried to speak German at them. I tried to speak German, like, to help out, but my German... Mein Deutsch is mittelmassig. Mittelmassig. Um, that means mediocre. And when I said that to one of them, they laughed, and they tried to say something. Ooh, that was close. And I didn't understand it. And... Oh, she... The woman tried to... Cough. The woman tried to say something to me in German, and I didn't understand what she was saying. So I said, uh, Entschuldigung, mein, mein Deutsch ist mittelmaßig. Which means, excuse me, my German is... Atrocious. My German is mediocre. Disgusting. And she laughed and said, you know how to say that in German, but you couldn't you couldn't understand the uh, what, what I said. And I'm like, nope. No, because that's the first thing you learn how to do in a language. It's apologize for not being able to speak their language. I know how to ask where the bathroom is. I know how to ask for certain things. Um, but beyond that, my my German is, is terrible. Lo siento. No puedo hablar español. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't speak Spanish very well. Yeah. I, don't okay, speak, I, I speak Spanish. Désolé. Je ne peux parler en français. Destroying this tank. <laughs> it, oh, did it, the tank got mortared again while I wasn't paying attention, didn't yes, it? Yes, it did. <laughs> so its treads are halfway damaged and its shell is halfway damaged. We're going to use this entire turn just blowing up this tank. Once again. It was a strategy that worked well last time. Hit the tank again. <laughs> okay. And you're going to start blowing up that tank. It looks pretty far away. Well, lucky you. You got a shot on it. And the turn. <laughs> okay. Again? <laughs> no? Okay. Gonna repair the tank instead. Move Claudia up and repair the tank. Okay. And then you're gonna use that last movement point to do... Probably engage the soldier over here. <laughs> Claudia, just shove your face in that radiator. Stop, 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 stop. Don't move, don't move. What's your plan to attack that soldier? 
Um. Oh shoot, you're right. What's your plan? Move her stop, here. Stop! 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 Tell me what's your plan to attack that soldier. Move Claudia here. Bring the other person up next to Claudia. Have both of them shoot at him. Why don't you have Claudia advance to the tank's position, and the tank can back you up? Okay, that's a good idea. And then, because you have selected Claudia for your last action, you could have her attack this guy, and then immediately retreat if she's too far forward. Because you're being backed up by the Edelweiss, so you get, you have to hit him once. If you can't do this on your own, Claudia, I'm taking those Geos off your head. There. Good job, Tank. You get to keep your gyoza. She didn't do nothing. I just bumbled through German. <laughs> when I was in Germany, I would just bumble through German. I was, I was terrible. Which, fortunately, I was in, um... The center of Germany. I was Germany. in, like, western Germany. So... Better. better? Well, that, it's not better. That's, that's mean. I shouldn't say that. Western Germany is usually much more touristy than oh, eastern Germany. Oh, tolerant of people who can't speak their language. No, no, no. I mean, it's just... It, yeah. It's, western Germany is much more touristy because western Germany was... West Germany. Right, yeah. During the Cold War. Eastern Germany is much more Russian. So usually, if you're in West Germany, there's going to be more people, people that speak German and English. If you're in East Germany, there's going to be more people that speak German and Russian. Most of the people there were just, like, the moment I would try to speak German at them, they would just immediately revert to English. Mm -hmm. Did you ever go to East Germany? No. So you have no idea. You have no comparison. Maybe they're just as friendly. I have no idea. I'm, I'm sure they probably are. I don't think I can get the tank up there. I think you just gotta get the tank to point one, and the tank's business is done. And then it's your soldiers. Well, here's the problem. I don't want to leave the tank here. Because this train is gonna keep coming back and forth. <laughs> yeah. And if the tank is sitting here, the train is gonna lay into that tank. Well, all you gotta do is park the tank in the enemy base that you have captured, and then it'll just get healed every turn. I don't know. I'm skeptical. There's... Oh, okay. I think I got it figured out. I think I can use this small bridge to cross a foot soldier over and activate this so I can bring the tank up. Okay. So, the very least, the tank is going to get either... The tank is either going to stay on bridge two, or it's going to cross bridge two and stay over here by the manufacturing plant and building 22. Let's get it done. Can Nancy blow up those giant metal caltrops? I don't know. Let's find out. Yes. yes she can. All right. Excellent. Ted gets to blow up a second set of barricades, so I don't have to spend like three turns doing that with the tank. Hey, ladies, nice spot, huh? Is he, then, does he think the tank is a woman? <laughs> Isara is. I think he thinks the tank is a woman. Maybe he's trying to flirt with Isara hey, ladies, through the bottom nice of the tank. I'm gonna believe that he's flirting with the tank. <laughs> tank dating simulator game? Yeah. It's he thinks this is Panzer Madels. Hey, baby, nice treads! Claudia! Claudia gets such a fun job for today. <laughs> she gets to dismantle all of these mines. Oh, it's so tedious. Claudia is earning her pay today. I am repairing. <laughs> no! No, Claudia! <laughs> well, you still have the ability to throw a grenade, so you can do that on your way out. No, Claudia, no! <laughs> oh, Claudia, what are you doing? I'm earning my pay, just like you wanted me to do, right? I didn't ask for this. You're right. This is bonus, extra credit. I should get paid double. Oh, Claudia, you silly, silly girl. Just blow up these ones. I know you just worked. You're right. Those caltrops weren't repaired by me. They suck. Goodbye, caltrops. I know you just worked really hard on those caltrops, Claudia, nope, but... I destroyed the bad ones. The good ones are still up. See you later. That's that's good. <laughs> You're good, Claudia. <laughs> nice nice work. <laughs> You're so pissed. My turn, okay. I'm not pissed. It's just like, come on, Claudia. Come on. <laughs> Did you think I wanted you to do that? <laughs> is that... Is that... Was that really? You put your little pea brain to good use there, huh? You're, oh, wait, that's are you, mean. Are you not gonna have Alicia blow up more barricades? Oh! <laughs> God! <laughs> ah! Alicia, blow up these barricades! <laughs> and try not to blow up the tank treads while you're at it. You mean? You'll be fine. Minor damage. Yeah, minor that's damage. That's fine. <laughs> oh! Getting everything out of order. <laughs> everything is falling apart, huh? Oh, this mission is just going so wrong. Yep. Yup, I can see a Lancer off there in the distance. He's advancing. Can can you shoot at him? Nope, but he's advancing. Shoot at him. No, it's not my turn. What's Dallas gonna do? Dallas is gonna move up. Dallas is backup plan. 
if they get completely gunned down and die. Shut up, Dallas. <laughs> Dallas doesn't like being around Ted. If Dallas gets com if they get completely gunned down, Dallas is gonna be Dallas and Alicia are rescue party. For <laughs> what if Ted they all and get Nancy. blown up? If they all get blown up, then I'm just screwed. <laughs> yeah. And just get right up on top of this Lancer. Yeah, just oh. like right. Woo -woo. There we go. Right there. Right there. That's perfect. Is that really perfect? And the though? turn. Is it really? Face to face. Hit Claudia with... again. Hey, okay, what are you doing here? Blow up the barricades. Okay. And then have the tank advance? Yes. Okay. Because this is cheaper than having the tank blow it up. You know what? That's fair. Not a bad strategy. And kaboom, T takes You'd think they points. would give these Lancers like a pistol or something. <laughs> just a sidearm for battles just like anything. this. Just anything. He has a pointed stick. Why isn't he just like, just like trying to stab me? <laughs> he dead. He's so dead. Claudia's still shooting. It's okay, Claudia. I, I... Sorry, I'm a little slow. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Ooh, that shock troopers. It's, it's fine. We got this. All right, knock him out of cover. And Knocked out of cover. Bring Ted up. And, and turn, and turn. And turn. And turn. And then bring Ted up. <laughs> Three points of health. You're kidding me. Bye, Ted. Looks like Nancy gets to pick up this. Everyone's a yes, yes. You're kidding me. Okay, this is fine, though. Nancy quickly kills the shock trooper, picks up Ted's corpse. There's, a There's Just take this one out, Nancy, please. Please, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Then she can pick up Ted, capture the base, immediately retreat. After she blows up the bridge, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Capture this base. Enemy found? We've captured the enemy camp now. Does that mean we have cut off the reinforcements from this bridge, or do we have to destroy it? We have to I destroy have to it. destroy it. Okay, can you shoot the bridge? We have to... Well, oh. oh, she's already done something this turn. Okay. So here's what we do. Here's what we do. Last turn is Nancy. Okay. Blow up the bridge. Can you shoot the bridge? Because you don't have any more grenades. So can you shoot the bridge destroyed? It's only got 10 shoot. health. It's only got 10 health. You can't shoot the bridge. Looks like we're gonna advance Alicia after all, huh? Yep. There he goes. No more reinforcements. The Northwest Bridge is down. Zaka, it's your turn to get that bomb set. Took us long enough. I'm on it. It won't take a second. <sighs> Fifty turns later. Okay, it's set to blow. What? What? Now it just needs a gunshot to detonate. When it goes off, the whole bridge goes too. All right, got it. And that's all we have to do. I wanted to go with a time bomb, but there's no guarantee the armored train would be there. Okay. What was that explosion? That was just your base being captured. Sir, the Gallian forces appear to have bombed the northwestern route. I have no facial features whatsoever. That's why they make me wear this mask. What? Clever, but not enough. <laughs> Clever girl. The two Velociraptors just <laughs> attack him. Oh, man. Restore power to the work lifts. I want scouts out Yeah, it would take two Velociraptors to lift up his jowls. <laughs> Claudia is gonna go activate this elevator. Can I- can I just point out right now that all of your scouts have retreated and right now Claudia and Dallas are your front line? <laughs> yeah, they're fun. They're fun! So, we'll call Alicia. Oh, okay. Nancy. Ted is horribly injured, so we'll call Juno instead. <laughs> sure. I don't know what that is right there, so let's just have Tank move up. Okay, yeah, just just be safe about this. Be safe. What's going what, on? What's happening? Why cutscene? Why cutscene? Are there any reinforcements down on the elevator? Is that what's going on? I think they might be. <laughs> okay, if that's the case. Well, I like all these barricades. You want me to repair them now that our tank's advanced? Actually, it's not a terrible idea because then if, they, if any enemies come this way, they have to blow up the barricades. They, they won't because we've destroyed the tiny little makeshift bridge. <laughs> okay. Right. Dallas didn't get the memo. <laughs> you don't trust that they're not going to drop a bunch of tanks behind us, huh? Yep. I super don't. You got no faith in these tactical strategies. You're just waiting for them to screw you over. You know what's gonna happen. Oh, I know they're gonna screw me over at some point. I know they will. Whoa, where did he come from? I was hiding behind you. Oh, God! <laughs> he has a, is that a flamethrower? <laughs> a health down flamethrower, yeah. <laughs> where did you come from? 
<laughs> ah! <laughs> no! No, Claudia! Oh boy. Our plan of getting Claudia to activate the elevator might be a bit delayed here. Oh good. To scare off that scout. Claudia's alive. <laughs> yeah, there we okay, go. Okay, good. Good, good. good. At least that guy's dead. <laughs> Where did they even come from? That is the definition of an ambush! Oh good, he's going again. Claudia, no! <laughs> Wow, what a way to go. Okay, it's a good thing we got Dallas here. Oh, and they get a Lancer, of course. Yeah, okay, and the Lancer's gonna take a shot at you. That's fine, it's not a very strong Lancer. So Dallas is our front line right now, and Dallas has to activate that elevator. Yeah. Dallas has to run past that Flame Trooper and activate that elevator. You think the Flame Trooper's gonna activate, gonna try and uh... I think he has a flamethrower under. His sub or under his like machine gun. I don't know. You think he's gonna try firing at you if you try to get too close to him? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We've got to get to that elevator. Dallas, you've got an impossible mission. Rescue Claudia and activate the elevator to unleash the troops. My reinforcements have arrived. As long as Dallas can do her job. Oh God, they're mortaring the they're mortaring the elevator. Dallas has to do her job and get out. Dallas, your job just got a little more difficult. You gotta do it, Dallas. You gotta do it. Sneak him right behind this flame trooper. Okay, he's not gonna fire on you. But you can take him out, yes? Oh, you gotta get five shots on him. I wanna get a little closer. You just gotta guarantee these shots. Yeah, tanks back. In okay, yes. He can indeed fire on you, yes. You're right. He's got a flame flamethrower mounted on him. <laughs> the tank just rotates. <laughs> You <laughs> clotheslined him. It didn't actually fire, it just clotheslined him. Okay, now we've got to activate the elevator! After we get Claudia out of here. Don't worry, I brought a bunch of B-positive blood! I know it's not your blood type, but I think you need to be more positive! That's a bad joke. <laughs> okay, and now we activate the elevator! Is that gonna work now, or do we have to wait a turn? I don't know how this elevator works. I think Juno can take the elevator now, yes? Yes, she can. Right down to the bottom. One at a time. That's sufficient, yes. That, it has to be one at a time. Oh! I'm just saying. No, you have to, okay. You have to turn on the elevator first, and then anybody can take the elevator Right, now. but I'm saying you can't make them all go at the same time. They all have to go take it on their turn. Right. Damn, Juno! Juno was not happy about what, about what that guy did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I heard you shot Claudia. I, I, the two of us should. <laughs> you can't see the look on my face, but it's shocked. I wish you could see this face. I wish we had a face cam because Zach grew three chins this day because his his face retracted so hard. I, Juno, <laughs> Juno has some issues with her relationship with Welkin that she really needs to talk out with Alicia. And make sure there's no random enemies waiting to... Maybe there's an alternate ending you can get where Alicia and Welkin don't hook up, but it's kind of like Fire Emblem, where the characters you decide to hook up together are the ones that have a future together. So if it's Alicia, then Alicia and Welkin spend the rest of their days baking in a bakery, making bread, and they have two kids. And if it's Juno, then they go off and explore the world and scout out new and interesting areas, and they study bugs together. I guess. <laughs> Alicia and Juno are going to compete for Welkin's love by who can do the most damage. <laughs> Sorry, Juno, it was Alicia. <laughs> Juno's a little slow on the draw there. <laughs> it was Alicia. Okay, well, sorry. Better luck next time, Juno. I heard, um, Ted single. I'm trying to figure out how to get up there to activate the elevator, because that's how I'm going to get the tank up there. Right. Well, luckily for you, you got a couple of scouts, and they got a lot of movement point. We do have a lot of movement points. I, I all right, guess, let's... Boy, I don't even know. You've got to go, like, all the way down and destroy that little... We got a sniper there on that bridge you got to watch out for, but... Yeah. I guess you've got to take the long way up to get on top of that cliffside. Nancy, how are you supposed... Tell me how I'm supposed to get up there, Nancy. Oh, this elevator's already active. <laughs> God! <laughs> Sometimes I'm so freaking stupid! We didn't know the elevator was already active. There was nothing to indicate that. Just, well, there was the whole cutscene where we went brrr, and the elevator turned on. <laughs> I just realized Nancy's standing right where if there's support, they're gonna come. If there's enemies, they're gonna come right through there. Oh my god, Nancy, I need to move you. No, no, leave Nancy there because Nancy can one on one any enemy that comes down that elevator. No, she super can't. <laughs> she super, super cannot. Nancy, you're going right here. Oh, okay. you'll stay here with Juno. 
You and Juno will be safe right here for when. Oh my god! It's just gonna, gonna be an empty elevator. It's gonna bring a whole. It's gonna be a whole freaking tank. <laughs> you're gonna. You're just panicking over nothing. There's gonna be nothing. Can you Alicia, have, can you, you have, are coming back over wait, wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. Can you have Alicia advance down there toward the bottom right and sabotage that for no reinforcements? Would that's you even, a very good. That's a very would real Would you possibility. want to, though, with the sniper looking right at you? Well, he can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, better heal up now. <laughs> Let's not go that way anymore. Let's go backwards, shall we? That way lies madness. This way is a safe place. Why don't we just save our move? Bring down the shock trooper. We'll save, yeah. Rosie, congratulations, you're going to war. We're actually gonna use you this time, Rosie. I hope you're grateful, turnip head. I'm sorry, you called her radish head, didn't you? Yeah, because it reminds me of a radish. Turnips are white and purple. Radishes are uh, red. Have you eaten either? Yeah, it's delicious. Really, you like both turnips and radishes? Oh, turnips and radishes. I've never had good. either. Never really had the inclination to. How do they taste? Uh, radishes are earthy. You mean Earthy. They, they taste like uh, dirt. Kinda. They're kind of bland. Then you can, you can taste. You can taste like the the earthiness. Okay. Um, their their radishes are a little. Uh, they can be a little spicy though. Hmm. Okay. They got they got a little bit of zing to them. And turnips. Are they turnips like are turnips are. Um, I imagine they taste kind of like onions. No, they're. It, imagine a big radish. <laughs> I can't because I don't know what a radish tastes like. It's it's. I wouldn't say they're bland. They definitely have a flavor to them. It's a little bit of a zing. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to describe it. Oh my god! I just realized they might be right in range of that tank. You that tank might just start shooting at them all right down there. Is that about the train? The train. Mm. Oh, I hope not. Why are they mortaring there? It doesn't matter. We're not going to park anyone there. That's true. So bring your tank into the elevator, I guess, because your tank can take the elevator, probably. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, you might want to park it right here and have your tank cover. Like your. Uh, That's a good. Yeah, yeah. We'll have the tanks just stay here as cover until uh, until this turn is over. Do we want to send everyone to the elevator this turn or wait a turn? We'll wait a turn. I think. Yeah. It just better safe than sorry. I suppose. Just for giggles. <laughs> There's no way. Fire! Wow, that went through the tank. Wow. Okay. It's, that just went through the train. It's apparently a ghost train. It's incorporeal. Got it. Why don't we have Rosie just go crazy on hey, this Hey, it's time for you to murder everyone, Rosie. Rosie, I know how much you love killing, so that's what you're going to do today. Just try dodging me. I feel like maybe I should, but I'm not going to. Burp! There's a guy. Is that a sniper? Is that the yes, sniper? Yes, that's the sniper. Hey, wait, what's his name? He's got a name. It's Tav Tavice the Beast. All right, Tavice. Say your prayers, punk. Fat Tony says hello. Largo. <laughs> Why Largo? We don't have any tanks to fight. Oh, you'll see. Oh, you're going to have Largo destroy the bridge from up here. Or you're going to try at least. Largo, do you think you can hit that bridge? Yeah, maybe. There you go. Good enough. I'll take it. Okay, Zach, I'll give it to you. Good plan. Oh, there's anti-tank mines up here. Okay, then. You want to start destroying stuff from this position since you don't want to advance? Can you launch a mortar over that building and hit whatever's behind it? Just blind fire. That's that's an option. Let's see. Yup, totally <laughs> can. Oh. This is what mortars were designed for. All right then. Let's see if we hit anything. <laughs> I hit something. <laughs> you hit a couple somethings. Nice. In the turn. All right. Now next turn. You're just gonna wait a turn. I'm just gonna yeah. We'll just save all my movement points for next turn. Yeah. Let's see what I'm happens. not convinced that the train won't just mow them down the moment I select any of them. Right, yeah. Oh! Oh no, Dallas! Oh, Dallas is fine. <laughs> okay. As long as the train doesn't attack you twice, it'll be fine. Hey, they have a Lancer that you... Oh, that's one of the guys you knocked out. Okay, I see what you're doing. You're damaging my tank. I don't much care for it. I don't like the fact that you're damaging my tank. Please no. Oh, there's multiples. Please no. Boy, I disagree with what you're doing. If the enemy were smart, they'd spend all of their movement points on their lances attacking you. Okay, they're not going to do that. It's your turn now. Well, we don't know. They might still do stuff after this happens. Nope. This is pretty much the trigger for the end of their turn. You could have had your troops get rid... You could have had your engineer get rid of the landmines in front of you so you could actually oh, advance shoot, your tank. that's true. Oh, well. You've already done it. So now bring up Claudia, I guess. 
What do you think happens if I run over one of those landmines? You're probably gonna do one fourth of the damage to your treads. Probably gonna do nothing. Try it. Do one. Oh, it is half. Okay. So yeah, we'll probably want to have Claudia fix that or Dallas. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we just intentionally took damage on the idle weiss so it could phase down this enemy tank. Our unit. Uh, okay, first thing, first thing we're gonna have her do. Step one: repair the tank. Repair the tank. Place Dallas in a position where she could join idle weiss and somebody else in attacking these lancers. Thank you. Tank is fully repaired. Right? No, why are you going too far? Right there. That's no. All right. This, fine, this is good right here. Fine. Dallas is going to be very happy because Alicia is here. Are they friends? Uh, Alicia, or Dallas has like a oh, that's weird right. Dallas. Yandere <laughs> obsession with Alicia. Okay, this guy's dead. Shoot the Lancer. Lancer's dead. And now Juno will join the rest of the team and mow down this Lancer. Well, they are going to murder him dead. Yeah, he is screwed. Can you hit that thing? Oh, you know what we should have done? Try to boost his attack power. Ah, whatever. It would have done much anyway, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, did that what? make contact or not? They just went over the top of the tank. Okay. He missed from this distance. Well, luckily, Dallas is there to resupply him. Good, hit the barrier, Largo. Largo, you're done. You're go, go home, you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Go home, you're drunk, Largo. You're starting to get a little annoyed with Largo. I'm, yeah, I'm not happy with and Largo. And now he's right out of now. ammo, so Dallas has to, sorry, Dallas has to resupply him. I'm just gonna shoot at him with my tank. Okay, that's fine too. Entering combat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting XCOM level stats right now, boy. Do you want to try and advance your tank so your the enemy tank can't hit your troops? Yes. I guess just, and, uh, why don't, you know what? I got an idea. Dallas needs to be healed. Alicia. <laughs> yes. I'm shocked again. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, go. Oh my god, there's a there's a there is a ter blah, blah. there's a turret on the back of this tank. Yes. There's a turret on the back of this tank. Go, there's go, a go, turret go, go, on the go, back go, of this go, tank. Go, go, go. Oh no! Why did it I was aiming, why did it just keep shooting? Uh because it had started the attack. Largo, your sacrifice was <laughs> not worth it. Not in vain. Wasn't it though? It seemed to be pretty much in vain. He didn't get anything accomplished. It's probably the most. <laughs> Did that do anything? It felt like it didn't do anything. Oh, goodness. You don't mind, right? You don't mind that I'm doing this? It's just a time saver. I hope you understand. Largo's been evacuated. Get backed up by the tank. Oh, try shooting through that guy at the shot from behind him. I don't. Just, just, oh, I'm already lined up, aren't I? Yeah, just lined up right there. So try and shoot. At his head. You, yeah, 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 yeah! Yes! yes! Oh, oh Edelweiss, come on! <laughs> Welkin, just shoot him! He's right there! Run, 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 run! <laughs> Never get tired of that. And turn. <laughs> that was so close. That was so close to getting a twofer. I, I have a feeling that we already have a twofer. Just call it a hunch. <laughs> there we go. You're, send the turn. you're right, you gotta send a, a trooper up here. Do you want to try and put ad, uh, advanced aiming or, or advanced evasion with an order on I, a scout? I really don't think it's gonna work. Do you want to try it though? Put it, it didn't work last time, you're right, but we might be able to get it done this time. Evade boost Alicia and have her run, run, run. What about all units defend? Just give her defense boost and evade boost. <laughs> And now that Alicia has been boosted in both Lancer evasion and defense, she should be able to run through that hail of gunfire, yes? Yeah, she's doing a great job. It, it, it worked perfectly. Apparently it worked that time. So, oh, that's it, right there. I think that's it, that bomb down there. Oh, you can just shoot it from here. Yeah. No. Boom. We've shot the bomb. Okay, operation oh, complete. You just had to shoot at it. That's it. I guess it didn't matter where the train was. Placement of the train is irrelevant. What? what? Status report. What's happening out there? Sir, all of the little the ambulance is coming back up. Also, the supports on the train seem to have been destroyed. It's a bridge. It's collapsing. No, that is just my vibrator. I left it on. It's diesel powered. Oh, that's very gross. This tank is the bedrock of the empire itself. 
Unshakable. It looks like it's shaking quite a lot. <laughs> but is it unsinkable? Invincible! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I am invincible! Oh, I guess he's dead. Unless he survives somehow. He's not dead. He's just gonna drown in the bottom of the river. Oh yeah, so dead. So we done? So long, Gregor. <laughs> Zaka's probably happy to see that. Yes, we dropped the armored train. That we did. Good observation. Lieutenant, there's an emergency. Uh oh, what's going on now? Imperial soldiers are fleeing the city. They've set fire to the Darksome concentration camp. Oh. The barracks are in flames. Get over there now. <laughs> oh boy. What? No. Uh, did we make it in time? Are the barracks uh? Why murder everyone? They forced everyone to go into this building, then set it on fire. For what? So we we didn't make it in time. I guess. Is there a point for the Imperials to do this? They they did want us to not have the dark. Uh, to freed? show us that the Imperials are bad guys. I I I know that's what the game is trying to do, but is there a reason that this would make sense in universe? Why would um, they? Um, I mean, in real life, there is precedent she for this. The Germans. Somebody tell me who did this. I'll tear their stinking heads off. The Germans did blow up all the concentration camps, but that was just to Revenge. try and hide That's the fact what? that they had done it. Fight fire with oh. fire. An eye for an eye. Didn't enough people die today? Even if our traditions lead us to death at the hands of others, we don't respond with violence. When we die, we die for peace. That is how the Darkson live their lives. Now those lives are gone. Forever. Wait, there's one still behind you. Look, no, that guy's- Yeah, there's- Why? There's a- I could hate them. Maybe even kill them. But that wouldn't bring those people back. Well, it looks like they didn't kill all, all the slaves. All really I do is try to survive and help the ones who are still here. Are they buried in there? Are there people still alive? There might be. So let's start sifting through the rubble. Although, if it was burned down, probably the flames would have consumed them. I don't know how likely it is we'd find survivors here. Rosie? Rosie. Thank you. Sure. There could be other survivors. Everybody, help us look! Why does it sound like he's talking through his radio? I don't know, that was weird. I wonder how Zaka and everyone are doing. Probably mourning the deaths of our loved ones. I hear most of the detainees have either stayed on in Fausen or evacuated to Rangris. Oh. Well, I hope they're all doing well now. Nope. <laughs> He's a tank commander. Yo. It's it's even worse than we thought. He joined the militia! Mr. Zaka? Oh, this? As of today, I'm a Gallian militia man, same as you. They put me in your squad, so we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Wait, just a... can you even fight? What was all that about living the Darkson way? Eh, don't sweat the details, right? And I've got experience as a tank commander. <laughs> that always lying to your face. We Darksons My do that. on the smaller side, but you can leave the ground unit support to me. I, I... And I thought your boss was pretty righteous. Righteous! Go along and see for myself. Wait, did you have a tank this entire time, uh, Zaka? Me? Yeah, it's like one of those little World War One tanks. <laughs> the oh god, why can't I remember the name of it? There's this little tiny World War One tank that it only fits two people. The way the tank commander tells the gunner which direction to go is by kicking him in the back of the head. <laughs> that can't be true. It is totally no. true. You just kick his shoulders to tell him which direction to go. God. And if you're if you're the driver of this tank and you start repeatedly getting kicked, that means you need to go a certain direction very quickly. 